What's going on, everyone? This is Miguel at Retro Basement. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button let you know when I come out with new videos. Also, take my survey below. It helps me out a lot. Check out my Patreon. A dollar a month really helps out the channel. Helps with giveaways. Helps with shipping. It just helps with overall general necessities for the channel. And what else? Um, yeah, like and subscribe, please. Nonetheless, let's talk about these limited print companies. There's so many of them nowadays. There's a little bit... There's too many of them nowadays running around and popping up everywhere because it's a, it's a fad these days. You know, it's almost like Funko Pops, which you see a lot on my channel too. Limited print companies are becoming a fad because they're popping up like everywhere. Play Asia, they've been around longer than Limited Run and all these other companies that are on the list, but they didn't really do the limited print thing first. Well, not to my knowledge, they didn't do anything in limited print capacity before Limited Run started doing it, but whatever. They have a whole variety of limited print games for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, and the Vita. So yeah, and they have some good stuff. And to be honest, they're my personal favorite because their games are just so reasonably priced. I don't know how they do it. I mean, I guess people in Asia, I mean, I guess a lot of the things that are being made come from there. So I guess it would make sense that they're able to get it cheaper than people in the U.S., and I love what they're doing. They're my personal favorite. I like them more than I do Limited Run. They don't overdo it when they do stuff. Dispatch games. They sometimes put out things. They're not really limited, but sometimes they put out little special editions. Like I ordered Penguin Wars from them. And I'm still waiting on one game from them. So here's Strictly Limited Games, a company that I've done an interview with. The audio kind of got messed up. Um, I got them when they were early in the game. They were down to earth. So here is Super Rare Games. They tend to sell on the Nintendo Switch stuff. And I don't see them really getting out of that. Their most rare game is Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. It's actually the rarest game for Nintendo Switch. Which I found out today when they sent out a thing that they had one copy left when they were doing some type of contest. Signature Edition Games. They don't necessarily put out like limited stuff. I guess they do. They put out kick-ass bundles. But um... Nothing that's super, super limited like the other companies. Well, maybe their bundles are limited like these right here. These are limited, but their standard editions like this, not so much. But the stuff that come with extras are pretty limited. And they're cool. I bought some stuff from them. I'm just adding them on the list because they do good work. V-Blank. They do limited prints, so I recommend checking them out. Shakedown Hawaii is coming out soon. Really want it. I've been following them for a long time. They don't do too much. they done guacamole or guacamole or whatever and retro city but they don't break the bank too much like some of these other companies do like limited run does um and sometimes play age but play age and stuff is cheap so i don't give them a lot of flack fan gamers and they don't do a whole lot of stuff they do a lot of partnerships with limited run games with merch and other things like undertales is a game i recommend you guys pick up and I like some of the merch like this, but it tends to be a little bit pricey for me. I can't say for everybody else. But, um, yes, their shirts and everything, it's nice and it, it's quality. I bought some stuff from them. And they have, like, Nintendo Switch grip and things like that. And a lot of stuff is nice. I can't knock them. I, I am 8-bit. They also do some awesome merchandise and, um, like, uh, artwork that you can, like, put in a frame or whatnot. But yeah, check out my 8-bit. They're another limited print company. So here's Game Fairy, guys. They, um, I had never heard of them until recently. Until I did some research and digging on all the print companies for the modern-day systems, such as the PlayStation 4, the uh, Nintendo Switch, and the Xbox One, which nobody's really even doing anything with Xbox One because Microsoft require a high print quantity. But they also have, let's see how much Nintendo Switch stuff they have. They sell a lot of Dead Cells, which is funny because of, I guess, a lot of, um, yeah. Oh, wait, they're doing Xbox One stuff. Let's see. Actually, no, nothing popped up for the Xbox One. But, yeah, they supposedly do, um, I wouldn't say limited print, but things that we don't really have here in, in stateside, and they ship to the states. So, if you're looking for some UK games, any of these that are on here that you don't have and you can't get to Europe or maybe they're a little bit cheaper than PlayAsia. I've never ordered from them so you know options options are nice. Red Art Games 
and I really liked them because they're inexpensive like Play Asia. I uh, don't have a lot of these games, but I need to grab them when I get some dinero. So yeah, they even have Corpse EX, and that came out not long ago. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking out this company if you don't know about them. They do a lot of good stuff, and they got a lot of... I don't think they've done anything with Nintendo Switch yet, but I know they're working on it. But they've done a lot of stuff with Vita, and I really need to get that... Um, where is it? I really need to get the Corpse game before it disappears. So here's the next company. They haven't done anything yet. They're releasing the Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human. <laughs> They're releasing Elliot's Quest and um, Light Spirit, Double Spirit Edition. I've never heard of them, but I'm, su I'm subscribed. So the moment they go live, seems like 2019 is going to be a year of a couple of new pop-up companies like Hard Copy Games and Ultra Rare um, Games. And so, yeah. Um... Let's go and look at the next one, guys. So here's Special Reserve. I really like the work that they do. They're not too expensive, but Collector's Edition, I've kind of dumbed down on them because it's just too much. There's too many companies and there's too many people releasing stuff at the same time. So if it's a really, 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 really awesome Collector's Edition, I might buy it rarely, but I recommend people just save their money. Um, collector's Edition are just ways for companies to make extra on little knickknacks that they pay nothing to manufacture. But I bought the standard edition of this recently. Um, money doesn't grow on trees, so I don't have that luxury to buy every collector's edition. And I'm not a crazy scalper like that. So, yeah, Special Reserve Games. I like what they're doing. Check them out. Buy into the Gungeon. I recommend the standard edition. But if you're a person with a lot of means, then go for those collector's editions on all these sites. It is what it is. I guess if you're a super completionist, then yeah. But if you're just a completionist, then you don't need all that. So here's the last of the Mohicans, Ultra Rare Games. They haven't put out anything yet, but I'm assuming 2019 is going to be the year of these limited print companies launching. The last thing they put out was November 29th of last year. Thank you for following us. We're a real company and have our first release signed. We will post a link in our mailing list soon. Super busy with other jobs and blah, blah, blah. Thanks for your support. And they have 539 followers, including myself. So, Ultra Rare Games, they only have a Twitter page. How mysterious. We don't know if they're going to do Nintendo Switch, PS Vita, PlayStation 4, or Xbox One. Or all of the above. We know nothing about this company, except that they have a Twitter page. Anyway, peace and love. Look out for this. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Let us you know where I come up with new videos. Check out my Patreon. Adios.